Hello and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime. I am Daydran. Jamaica Glena celebrates the big 185 with a bang. The Jamaica Glena celebrated their 185th anniversary with a fun-filled day of activities. Pomp and splendor deserving of the long-standing institution. We were born on September 13, 1834, which means we predated emancipation. But we chose downtown because downtown is our home of the Glena. We've been here all this time. We had to celebrate our people. They mean a lot to us. And so we could not have a major execution in Kingston and it not be where home is. The 185th anniversary roadshow held last Friday at the St. William Grant Park, downtown Kingston, saw the Gleaners team and the Eastern Rangers marching band parading from the Gleaners head office on North Street to St. William Grant Park. Dancing, prizes and lots of giveaways collided with a strong artist lineup. British Jamaican DJ Styler G touched down to celebrate with the Jamaica Gleaner. <laughs> But you don't know the gleaner from, from a young man, you know about the star and the gleaner. You know what I say? Keep it up to date with the news. Veteran artist Tony Rebel closed the show. Any institution we go for 185 years should be commended. No, no people can't even go 100 days. The Jamaica Gleaner Roadshow marked 185 years of dedicated service to Jamaica and the diaspora. Now entertainers are lobbying for the cockpit country. Members of the entertainment fraternity are still opposed to mining in the cockpit country. And this morning staged a protest at the National Hero Circle to gain support to dissuade the mining. Sweet Jamaica singer Tony Rebel voiced his concern in relation to the controversial mining in the cockpit country. In the future they will be fighting for water. Because water is life. And if the cockpit delivers 40% of the water that serves this country, that is almost half. We can't take that for granted. Honorable Prime Minister, we honor you and we respect you, sir. You are one of our brethren. Hear me now? Make the alternative. That's something that something not look like it's going to work. I mean, we get some, let me say it, man. We get some stats up where it's set. Costa Rica make $1.7 billion each year because of ecotourism. Make could try that, no, sir? Make could try that down there. Entertainers Queen Africa, Tony Rebel and Bounty Killer have been at the forefront of the opposition to mining of the cockpit country. Last month, Prime Minister Andrew Holness held a closed-door meeting at Vale Royal in Kingston with artists Bounty Killer, Tony Rebel and Queen Africa to sensitize the artists on the government's position on the cockpit country. Situated in areas in Trelawney and the St. Elizabeth parishes, the cockpit country is a hilly and dense area which has the highest diversity of plants and animals anywhere on the island. That's it for this evening's edition of E-Prime. I'm Daydran. Thank you for watching.